Hello, hello, hello. Good day, good day, good day. Today is going to be a reading for the cusp of Leah of Libra and Virgo. <laughs> Lord. <sighs> Every time I get that Lee, he just takes over. Okay. Leo Virgo cusp for the month of November. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? What's going on with y'all? Now, I do want to let you know as I'm shuffling these cards, waiting for some to start flying up at, at me, um, that um, if you do subscribe, it does put you in intentions for future messages. Also, um, um, the Dream Series is coming back. I'm going to do that, start doing that soon. And the Little Series is coming back. It hasn't been gone. It's just work and stuff. So... I'm trying to plan out things so we, everybody gets their messages. That's why I'm doing monthlies now. Because we got other things coming. Other things coming. New places coming. New new things is coming. New angles. New everything. Everything new. Everything new. Everything new. New people. Okay. Everything new. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Okay. I believe I got this for one of your signs. I don't know which one it was uh, for Virgo or Libra. I believe I got that for one of your in your individual videos. In the Hermit card. Okay. So this is definitely the Virgo side that you're neglecting right now. If you're a Libra Virgo cuss, Libra Virgo cuss, I can't speak today. I'm still feeling the effects of that Mercury retrograde, I guess, yeah. I feel like you feel like you're, oh, so here it is. You feel like you've blocked on money, right? You're waiting for money to come to you. It hasn't come. You've done the work. So now you've had a new enlightenment, a new um, enlightenment about your work and that you're going to do something different or change something up, right? You're going to do something a little bit different, have a different approach to it, everything new. We're just talking about everything new. Everything new. Because you want to get something new, you want to start something up off the ground, you want to get something going, everything new. Everything new. The old ain't serving you. You're getting everything new. Mm-hmm. Okay, jump. And you had to flip around. You see how I flipped around? You y'all see how I flipped the car was like whoop and then went yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. You yeah, you working on abandoning something. <laughs> you working on leaving something. You working on leaving something that don't serve you. And you working on leaving something the it like in a stable way, right? That's the way y'all do it in a stable way. So that you don't ever have to come back if you don't want to. So that if you don't ever feel like you have to come back, you don't want to come back. Yep. Mm -hmm. Looking into the future, looking towards happiness. And you're going to transform and do whatever it is you got to do to get there. With this Leo and this uh, Scorpio death card. That's what Scorpio season brings about. Wait till this moon hit, y'all. Happy Friday the 13th. Four of Wands in reverse. Mm-hmm. I'm also thinking, so I've been doing this, like, daily Divine Masculine um, reading. And I was thinking about just doing just a daily collective reading. And then doing other videos besides that. But, like, have that as a constant going as well. Let me know in the comments if, or the, you know, if you... But like that idea, just to do like a daily reading of what's going on with energies, just, you know, so we have like a whole thing. You can just tune in. That's so that's probably going to be my light video. And then when we get in your sign, we're going to get your deep videos. But mm -hmm. I do want more light videos, lighter videos, lighter messages. I'm over here talking about we gonna beat all this stuff up and I keep these rough messages and now I'm like, okay, well I really want some lighter messages. Um and the swords and the chariot. You so you're not speaking up and you're stuck. Right? 
I thought like you just this, this is not like okay, so a lot of people may think that as a negative way, right? That's just a, like that's the Virgo side of you shining. Because they don't say nothing, they just walk away. Oh, okay. And just be gone. And we we'll never say nothing. And just be just just a memory. You've now become a memory. You start a new life today. Like that. Every single second is the day you can start a whole new life. And that is literally what they do. They sit and they nick pick to the, the Lord is done. But when they get tired, when they get tired, when they get tired, oh, we start a whole new cycle tomorrow. And they don't put it off. And they don't wait. And they don't dilly dally or, or whatever. It's, it's, it's done. So when I'm getting this, you ain't saying nothing. You just gonna back up away. And when it's when when it's time to leave, you know they say like some birds, a mother bird will um, if you want to leave her husband, she just will take a twig from the nest and start building a nest somewhere else, and just keep building nest until the nest is all built up. And then one day she leaves and she just don't come back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you cross-watch them, mm-hmm, because, uh, and won't come back. And won't. <laughs> you know? And won't. <laughs> then leave. Okay? So the magician right here in the Three of Pentacles. Somebody, yeah, you just, you gone. Like, I think you someone just wreck it is, is... And you didn't recognize what you had. So it's leaving. For someone who can better appreciate it. Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. Off to find new love. Off to find new opportunities. Off to find new... And you know what this Ace of Cups too is also like off to find new self-love as well. I, I keep saying that too for people because I really think there are so people so obsessed with another person but yeah, people be so obsessed with another person. Page of Swords, the stalker. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. When you stop watching these other people, other people start watching you, right? Because here's the thing. is that the only reason why somebody watches is because they got nothing going on with their own life, right? So they watch you, and they be mad because they got nothing going on with their own life. But in reality, if they just spend all that time actually putting something in their own life, they'd be watched by other people who are like that too. You know what I mean? It's like a hard thing. Like, how you spend your time depicts how you, um, depicts your energy, depicts how you, um, you know, if you spend your time worried about something... You create the problem because you spend so much time worried about it. There's nothing else you can do besides face it. And y'all just, y'all love to run away and not face nothing. I, mean, I will say that. I ain't nothing wrong with it because the way you do it be so damn slick. It don't even be a problem. King of Swords. Yep. Somebody's getting cut out. Uh. So with this King of Swords, the Magician was a Gemini card. The King of Swords is a Gemini card. The Hangman is Pisces, Nine of Pentacles, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Page of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, well, Page of Swords could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. I just always associate with Gemini. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you trying to cuss some uh, moss because it's just doing too much and it's taking too long. Five of Cups. And you don't know how to feel emotionally about it. The Emperor and the Page of Cups. In reverse. So the Emperor is an Aries card. And this Page of Cups. In reverse. Do you just not feel like you're getting enough love? Of the situation? Like, it looks like you're just feeling like you're not getting enough, um, gratitude, validation. Like, you're not getting enough, um, like, nobody's recognizing the work that you're putting in. 
nobody is recognizing the the amount of sacrifice that you're making, how much you're doing, how much you were really trying to um, get somewhere. I feel like people are just, or whomever it is you're dealing with is not noticing that. And again, they're not, and you're not dealing with it. You're like, no, you were not realizing I'm putting a lot of work into this. I'm putting a lot of work into me. I'm putting a lot of work into everything that I touch. So if you are not on board with the amount of work that I am willing to do, and you're not going to reciprocate that, then I'll be out. Sit down. And your actions are speaking louder than your words right now because, like I said, that bird's silently packing up. Like, oh, I'm unappreciated. Okay, let me just go where I'm appreciated. And the person that you're dealing with probably has no idea what's going on. Like, oh, you just whatever. No, 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 no. If you made someone feel unappreciated, if you made someone feel like all the effort that they did was for nothing. Don't be surprised when they take that effort elsewhere. You cannot be surprised when that happens. So, cross watcher, if, if you looking at this and you like, well, that's just not. Think about it now. Think deep. Think deep. Your truth is not the only truth. Okay. Not to say that your truth is not true because it is, but it's not the only version of the truth. Somebody else has feelings too. And this is the problem: is that people always want to say something is in. If two people don't align correctly, they're going to see something in two completely different ways and it's not going to um, mesh well. If people align and people can are able to at least curve, like have enough room to curve out the edges and really be able to communicate this stuff, this will be a thing. But from what I'm getting is that this person does not feel like um, Libra Virgo does not feel like they can communicate with you. They don't feel like communication with you does anything. It just doesn't work. You just don't hear them. You hear the words, but you don't hear the, the, the you don't feel the feeling behind the words. You just hear words called out. Like you, like, you know how people have, like, it's like your background noise. Their background noise. It's there, but you're not paying attention to it at all. It's just background noise. And so you going like, well, shit. I'm going to go somewhere where I ain't background noise. Where people want to stand up to, in a line to go hear what I got to say. Go on here with it. Go on here with it. All right. Um, I think I'm going to do some psychic tarot for this. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes it just takes a minute to just kind of clear it out. So I just don't, I just, I don't know. I just quiet and clear. I just do it. I don't, I'm not that person that just says stuff. So I really identify with whoever this is who's just doing stuff. Because it's like, it's like, why do you have to say, announce what it is you're doing? Just do it and don't announce it. But like, sometimes you do. Like at the beginning of this video, and I was announcing things I want to do so that people can tune in and watch. But... If you're doing something that you really don't need nobody um, involved in, then don't involve them. Deception and envy. Maybe somebody is envious of you for whatever reason. Maybe because you do this and you just focus on yourself and get up to where you're going. They mad. Like, you ain't giving it to me. You ain't giving me that energy no more. Well, what? You ain't did nothing with it. Okay? If you cross watching and you upset because someone is no longer giving you their energy and you ain't did shit with it besides sit there and look at it, well, then why are you mad? You should have did something with it. Don't be over here acting like, oh, this is supposed to just give, give, give to me. I'm just supposed to just take, take, take. You're supposed to do something with it. If you go take it, you better do something with it. Otherwise, it's going to be gone. 
Rejoice in celebration. Mm-hmm. I feel like you really, you, you, yeah. You want to celebrate it being over, but it's not over yet. But you're like, okay, so emotionally I'm done. Or, or, or like, I'm sorry at this past. Spiritually I'm done. Like, some, some kind of way you are done. And I think it's just neat, like, in the 5D you're done. In the 3D you still got to make some steps. Okay, material harvest. Yep, yeah, you're trying to reap whatever you've been sowing, working on to get. You're trying to get that coming back to you. And we got wisdom here in reverse. Yeah, so um, it's not a wise situation. What what it is, it's like this person is not, it's not wise about you and what you were offering. And you are not wise enough to um, tell that from the beginning, you know. Because a lot of times we are able to tell that from the beginning, but we want to believe so desperately that it's not going to be that way. But it is. It is. And I do I do it too. I'm not going to sit there and say it. I don't do it either. Because Lord knows I do it too. You fall in love with potential. You can't fall in love with potential. You got to fall in love with what is what right in front of your face. Exactly for what it is in front of your face. And not for what it could possibly be or what it may be one day. Or what is it? Would it, you know, you know, in like fifty years, we're gonna be so great. What if? How, what, and then you struggling through the first through the fifty years, okay? Tell me why am I struggling? Because you the one who looked at it and said, in fifty years, it's gonna be great. Not today, it's gonna be great. It's gotta be great today, so that when you see it and when you're around it, it's good for you today. Not that it's going to be good. But it's good for you right now. Because as you suffer, waiting for it to get good, you're just putting yourself through so much hell and turmoil that you didn't have to. For the sake of something, that, for, for, for for potential. That's, that's how resentment builds up. It is. It is. That's how resentment builds up. But you're like, well, I just saw so much, and you're just not doing it. Okay, but you knew they weren't going to do it for another 50 years. You knew. You knew. Because when you got with them, that was your thought. Oh, this is going to be good in 50 years. I can see us 50 years from now being all happy. What about tomorrow? Can you see you being happy with this person tomorrow? Can you see you be happy with the situation tomorrow? Can you see you being ha- happy with you today, even? Like, in the present, can you see yourself really, really, really enjoying the life that you're living in this moment. Because all these people I talk to on this phone at my job talk about how, oh, you should just wait to get old and complain about everything in your life because you waited till you got old to try and do anything and you were too old and worn down to actually do anything. Don't, don't, don't become um, a stereotype. When you meant to burst out. For real. It's just gonna it's gonna harm you. It's just gonna harm you. Whew. I don't know where that came from. That was deep in there and that flew on out. So if you resonate with any of this video, even if you didn't, please like, a comment, subscribe, share. Like I said, subscribing puts you in the um intentions for future messages. So you can hear more stuff like this or less stuff like this or trying to get some happier readings or everything. I don't know, but we're going to do stuff. So you better come on and watch. Come on and watch. Come on and watch, 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 watch. Bye.